This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can you reset an IMM brush when they start coming out squashed? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a polysphere loaded in, and I have deleted the lower subdivisions. I also have the IMM brush model kit selected. Now if I hit M on my keyboard, you can see all the parts that this brush contains, and I'm just gonna select this Fasteners 18 right here. So the question is asking how to reset this brush. So before we even get to that, let's just talk about a few of the different functionalities an IMM brush has when using buttons such as Control, Shift, and Alt on your keyboard. So the default settings for the IMM brush allow you to click and drag, and this is going to populate the model with that IMM part. Now, while you're populating this model, if you draw it out and hold control, it's going to snap or change the size of this IMM brush to this draw size right here. So at a draw size of 64, if I draw this IMM brush out and hold control, this is the size I'm going to get. If I change my brush size a little bit smaller to say like 39, and now draw it out and hold control, I'm gonna get a smaller bolt like so. So using this control method, it will allow you to set your size of your IMM brush based on this draw size. And this will allow you to keep this size consistent across your model. So say I was doing some sort of mechanical machine and I needed all these bolts to be the same, I'd draw these IMM brushes out like so and then hold control to make sure they're all the same size across my mesh. Now the next option for the IMM brush is if you draw it out and you hold Alt. Now, while you're holding Alt, you're going to be able to form or distort this IMM brush. So you can see here, as I'm holding Alt and moving my pen or mouse up and down, or left and right, I'm going to distort the brush like so. Now, after you have this mesh distorted, when you draw it out again, it's going to remember that distortion. So this is what the question was related to. How can I reset this IMM back to its original shape now after I have distorted it? So to reset this back, you simply just need to draw your IMM shape out and then simply tap control. And when you tap control, it's going to reset the structure or the deformation that you applied to that IMM brush. And now when you draw it out again, it's going to come out like normal. So once again, to distort it, draw it out and hold alt and then manipulate the mesh like so to distort it. And now you can have a distorted IMM brush. Then to reset it, just draw it out again, tap control, and that's going to reset that transformation there. And now when you draw it out, it's going to look like it did originally. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.